He had won seven in a row by knockout. And now, Rex Grimsley with the first punch. And that looks like it over. is it. Why is the referee counting? You don't have to count on that. This fight is over. The referee counted him out. James Thunder, known as a quick starter, but we didn't think. Here's what happened. Boom, no, right on the side of the head, the very first punch. You land the first punch in a fight, don't go out there and mess around. Karak dragging the jab back. Look how relaxed Grimsley is all the way down to the canvas. And the fight should have been stopped right there without a count whatsoever. Oh, Soriano a été surpris, le Gordon vient à peine de commencer. Soriano qui est venu cinq fois au Québec a toujours perdu par décision, a toujours fait la limite. Et pas contre n'importe qui, Logan McGuinness, Ali Chiboy, Jojo Dan. Il saigne de la bouche et... Euh, Kevin Bizier. C'est terminé. Dirigeant, c'est déjà terminé. Il, il a cassé la mâchoire. Il a la mâche. Il a été straight and peed right up with that shot. Okay, thank you very much. Not smart. Not smart. A short left hook to the point of the chin. Oh, it was more like a three, a three-quarter uppercut hook. One of those 45-degree angle jobs. So much about the age of Basanti. I'm worried about whether or not he's in top shape. Oh, he goes down from a left hand. He gets caught right away. A left hand floors oh. Anthony Basanti. Oh, there's no sense in counting. Oh. Now he's jumping up. He had his eyes closed. He had his eyes closed. No, he stopped. Anthony Bonsante is arguing with referee Jerry Bolin as if he was playing possum and was going to do that move at the last second. But you can't give the referee. Listen to this. Your eyes were closed. Clap of all 10 seconds left here in the second round. The right hand from T was good. And another one! Floors Judah! He's up very quickly, but his eyes are in orbit! It's over! Jane Aidey stopped it! Judah immediately up and complains! But the fight finishes dramatically in the second round, and Kostya Tsu has unified the light welterweight division for the first time in 33 years. Judah bitterly, bitterly protesting that he was okay to continue, but his legs betrayed him. He was up so very, very fast. Joel Zuda there, his father, trying to console his son who must be heartbroken, a delight. Time to see what the uh, flash, skillful, but still relatively raw and inexperienced novice Usman Ahmed really has to offer. A terrific character, and he's shown us glimpses of glass, but a massive step up to championship level. For the outgoing Cockshaw 27 year old who's been talking the talk, can he walk the walk? It's, it's Alan Nassim Hammond, this isn't it, Jim? Yeah, well, uh, well, I'm just about to find out. I mean, okay, it's well worth a chance, it's a huge chance for him, but he's challenging a man he's already shared the ring with, so he doesn't have that fear there. But I'm just wondering, is he going to get the surprise of his life to find out what championship boxing over 12 rounds is all about? But he's naturally confident, and we have to remember, he's 27, he's not a baby. He's got some fans too. A flamboyant ring walk, and Rendell Monroe's in there as well, who's been working alongside him. Our European and Commonwealth Super Bantamweight champion, and here comes Uzi.
was a very, very heavy fall. Slightly broke his fall on the way down. I wouldn't like to see his head clashing onto the wall. He wants to get up, that's a good sign. Probably the fighters find it more embarrassing being kept on the floor than anything else, but it's a sensible precaution. They just want to take their time, they want to check his eyes, they want to check behind his eyes. Everything looks okay, he wants to sit on the stool. But I mean, his legs will be very unsteady, so they want to sit him down, you can see that. And that was a beautiful... He stepped right in with a punch, I mean, he was throwing the punches that mattered from the start, but you can see the way it collapsed to the floor, that was alarming. Beautiful punch, couldn't have landed any cleaner. And his opponent making his pro debut, Brian Sutherland from Shelby, North Carolina, in the blue trunks. And Brian Sutherland knows nothing about boxing. He comes to this, he got into boxing because he was a street fighter, and he figured might as well get paid for boxing, or for fighting. And uh, you, you can see... 25 amateur bouts in Great Britain. Turn pro with a third round knockout over Aaron Nance last November and gets the right hand and that stuns Brian Sutherland is down and that's it. Referee Chester Como retrieves the mouthpiece, stops the fight. Let the doctor look at him. Well this this man had no business. Brian Sutherland had no business in the boxing ring. It was uh the straight punches from Kenny Rainford. I don't think he realizes he's in the ring no, now. And it's it's an art. It's so much different than fighting in the street. He's a good street fighter. He says he never lost a fight in the street, but we're talking about boxing. Those are the straight punches. These these people are trained professionals. Don't try this at home.